troubles the game. Double trouble. Oh, they're a duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elves. Yes. Yeah. Sorted creatures, right? Well, not me. <laughs> Think again. Because I'm a night owl, me. Someone who works in the evening. It's a proper nocturnal. Real popular too. Tons of mates. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. How many people on a football team? Eleven. Oranges, half time. See this kit? Well, it takes an owl's eye to make it look so rad. Oh, that was a gymnast's ribbon. Tonight's gonna be a big hoot, I reckon. But you know, big performance. I hope it's better than last time. Maybe that's like tactics. Claws are crossed. But will this beak peak too soon? Can I please take you home to my newborn baby? <laughs> that would be absolutely <laughs> lovely. Uh, Davida, you first. I absolutely adore you, and the distance that your head can travel round is actually quite creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Owl is giving me vibes that they are so chuffed with their performance. And I'm not sure if they are a trained singer, but it was mm -hmm. really, really hard to tell from that. Sorry, Owl. <laughs> Yeah, you upset you? the owl. Yeah, man, you really ruffled some feathers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. You, I think, are connected to sports. We saw the football, 9, 10, 11 people in yeah. a team. So I think Alex Scott. Alex Scott, great <laughs> shout. Like that. Mo, what do you think? I think I've got this one. What? OK, so 9, 10, 11, yeah. right? There's 11 players on a football pitch. Yeah. Famous football team is Chelsea. There's the whole school theme. She was in Waterloo Road. It could be Chelsea Healy. Oh, Ooh, Chelsea Healy. 
I like that. Rita, what are you thinking, my friend? I think, again, football-wise, but the thing that got me was the nocturnal part, because I felt like musicians are usually nocturnal. Yes. So it could be somebody that also plays football. Thank you, thank you, my one friend. Yes. Oh, my God! I might be doing something right! <laughs> Let's see. So, yes, yeah, so it got me thinking, OK, nocturnal. So this person, she writes songs. She's also a presenter. And she played football for Liverpool. Um, I'm going to go with Chelsea Grimes. Wow. Yeah. Wow, pulled out of the bag there. Finally, Jonathan Ross. What do you think of my friend? I don't want to seem like a twit to you. <laughs> but I'm not going to go down the football route. I was looking at Double Trouble early on. How about it's someone who's Double Trouble, they've been successful twice? Someone who's been in two bands, and it said they had 11 friends. I've counted. In the first band they were in, S Club Juniors... There were seven. ..they had seven friends. Yeah. In the second band they were in, Saturdays, there were four friends. Seven and four is 11. This person is married to a footballer, Wayne Bridge. I think oh, it is Frankie right. Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's who's out there. Oh that makes sense. That oh makes sense. Oh, my God. You want some more clues? Yes, yes, yes. I think we need a game of Riddle Me This. Owl is going to give us a clue in the form of a riddle. Find the answer, find the clue. Owl, can we have your riddle, please? I've been known to have been a source of hilarity, but thankfully my hero was the star of that parody. Oh, early on the football could be a globe which would make you think of Shakespeare's globe. Shakespeare's sister were famously parodied by French and Saunders. It could be Siobhan from Shakespeare's sister. Oh, wow. <laughs> Give it up for Al, everybody. <laughs> the panel think they know it all, but were they really winging it with their guesses? Who do you think's behind the mask? thinks I'm Frankie. Too soon to tell, but let's cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Last week's performance, the Lou Boy. What a hoot it was, confusing the panel. I think Alex Scott. It could be Chelsea Healy. I don't want to seem like a twit to you, <laughs> but I think oh, it is Frankie Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. Twit, twit! They haven't got a clue. <laughs> I've got youth on my side, right? So I love to stir things up. Stir things up. Like cooking. As elves love to swoop into every area. No splash. Keep your beak shut. Pink bikini. Because owls are real wise and everything, I could have been like a spy or something cool. Putty AM lessons. There was a show called Soccer AM. I'm showing off. <laughs> could be one of the lionesses. Yes. Tonight, all about showing off. And I'm ready. Get me hooting and hooting onto that stage. Listen to the music. 
Disco at Hogwarts. I love that. <laughs> Mo, who are you thinking? Do you know what? First of all, that was a great performance, man. It seems like you're really like enjoying yourself in a competition, man. Um, <laughs> looking at the clue package, right? I kind of get in this whole back to school thing and I keep linking it to Waterloo Road, which is a show that's set in a school. So this singer was in a band called Hearsay. Now, Hearsay had a cover song called Bridge Over Troubled Water. Now, in that clue, they said, don't make a splash. Now, if you go over bridge, yeah. that means you're not going to make a splash. Mm. I think this could be Kim Marsh. Yeah. Mm. A few claps there, but it could be the rain on the roof. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Davina, you seem to very much be enjoying yourself during oh, that. Well, I mean, wow. Do you like that? Wow. Oh, wow. Do, you like it? Do it again, they'll really okay. laugh. Do it again. Wow. <laughs> Woo. It's great. It's great. Um, okay, so I love you, Al. You are what this show is all about. You just performed so brilliantly. So, this is an actor in Waterloo Road. Oh. She did Sport Relief Bake Off, you know, Stir Things Up, I heard that clue. Yes. Well done. Sport Relief, obviously, there's lots of references to sport in the clues. Lots of things that made me think of a lioness, you know, female football team. Yes, yes. And if you take a lion and a bird together and mix it, it makes a mythical creature called the griffin. I think this is Angela Griffin. Oh! oh. That's, That's so very good. good. I don't know how you could even think sensibly after that. No. I, don't, I don't know what happened on stage there. <laughs> it is bonkers. It's insane. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think it's a sports person. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. There's all the swimming clues and everything. I'm thinking England women's footballer. Yeah. Someone like Alex Scott. I love that. I said that last time as well. I think that's a good guess. Jonathan, who do you think it could be? There was the footy AM clue, and I remember seeing on Soccer AM a very, very funny comedian who I know is also a huge fan of the Lionesses, and that was Maisie Adams. Oh. And I think it could be Maisie that Adams. It could be Maisie Adams. So, do you want a clue? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we need another round of clue or false. Which of these tuck shop rumours is true? Al, can we have your first rumour, please? Someone just told me to keep an owl's eye on my attitude. Oh, attitude. And the second one, please. Did you know I was gunning for the opposing team on the playing fields? Audience, give Football. me a cheer if you think number one is true. Give me a cheer if you think number two is true. Yeah. Interesting. Gunning, gunners. I think this is Alex Scott. Wow. You know why? I think it's Alex Scott. She used to play for Arsenal, Arsenal the Gunners. But it weirdly sounds like Alex Scott. That's, That's what I think it is. Jennifer said. You'll be wide-eyed when you'll see who's inside, but only when the mask comes off. Give it up for Owl, everybody. Yeah. Love you, Owl. Well done. So good. I think you are both right. Are the panel being know it's owls with these guesses? Or do they need to stop moving in the wrong direction? Is this owl actually a lioness? Ha! I'm roaring with laughter! <laughs> Performing first, ladies and gentlemen, 
E ciao! Adams, Kim Marsh, Angela Griffin. But have they worked out who I am? Yes. 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 Being a night owl, Fridays became flight night. Someone that might have had to travel on Fridays. Being nocturnal don't need it sleep all day, though. You don't become, how should I say it? An icon by being. So maybe that's someone that's quite active. Mr. John Kay. We're silent creatures. Well, not me. No way. Think maybe they're on a chat show or they have their own chat show. And look, celebrity apple juice. Get rid of apple. Celebrity juice. And I'm bringing the noise for tonight's performance. What does that mean? Scooby to Scooby. My eggs in a spin. What an honor, guys. about things you like to do. You've got to have a dream. Not a singer, good performer, though. You don't have a dream. How are you going to have the dream come true? Talk about a moon floating in the sky, looking like a lily on a lake. About a bird learning how to fly, making all the music she can make. I think she's a very good entertainer, like talker. Happy talk, keep talking. Presenter of Meeting on Anchor. Yeah. Talk about things you like to do. You. You've got to have a dream. Hey, Joe, I know who this is, you know. What? Some of the clues was like, what an honor, guys. Maybe they have uh, an OBE, MBE. But the clue was in the song title because it was talking. 
And now their career is a sports pundit. There's a lot of football clues. And that is Alex Scott. That's Alex Scott in there. You think it's Alex Scott? I'm telling you, if that's not Alex Scott, I will do the next show in just a pair of boxers and socks. I promise you. Everyone heard that. We got our tape, right? <laughs> Nicole. I'm just really looking forward to seeing Mo in his pants and socks because yes. that is best. not Alex. My best as well. No, we, it's we... winter time. No. <laughs> OK, so I saw the celebrity juice on the cup in the locker and last week we saw a bikini in a box and we heard the reference Splash. This person is a presenter of Splash. She's a sports pundit. She also has a podcast, which is the reference to talking. I think it's Gabby Logan. It's Gabby Logan. <laughs> what are you thinking, Ellie? I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking like national treasure, and it's She's somebody so who clearly has a voice, is a storyteller. Yeah. I wrote down uh, Joe Wiley. I wrote Sue Barker, <laughs> Fiona <laughs> Bruce. I went with all of them. Rita, what are you thinking? I actually really love Al. If I look at the VT, I saw the celebrity juice, so I went down that path. So I actually thought from the clues, Emily Atak. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Jonathan, who is it? This is my guess, and it's kind of a bit out there. Has anyone seen the film The Quiet Place? Yes. Mm. It's kind yeah. of a big sci-fi film, and the star of that is a British actress, Love and her that. husband's name, who directed that film, is John Krasinski, and you saw there it said Mr John K, oh. and if you had been in A Quiet Place, you would be happy to talk when you came out the other side. So my guess is the brilliant actor that. Emily Blunt. Yes. Yes. Emily Blunt. <laughs> Jonathan Wong, I'll wear a suit made out of wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I might know someone who's got one. <laughs> OK, to it, to who's inside the mask. We'll only know when it comes off. Let's hear it for Owl, everybody. <laughs> Great work, Owl. I hope Mo's guess is right, because to be blunt, no one wants to see him in his undies. Who do you think's behind the mask? Panel, please discuss amongst yourselves and decide which character you would like to save, Eiffel Tower or Owl. Whichever Mars Singer the panel decide to save will continue in the competition. The other will be unmasked. Mo, Ooh. have the panel made a decision? Yes, Joel, we have made a decision. The Mars Singer the panel have decided to save is... Unfortunately, your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. And in just a moment, you will be removing your mask. But first, panel, who do you think it is? Mo, I've covered you first. I'm going to go with Alex Scott. I think you're Alex Scott. Yes. And you better hope it is. <laughs> You've got a lot riding on this one. I hope it isn't. It is. <laughs> Davina. I think it's Gabby Logan. Gabby Logan. <laughs> Ellie, who do you think it is? Joe Wiley. You're going to go with Joe Wiley. Rita Ora, who do you think it is? I'm going to stick with Emily Ata. Emily Ata. <laughs> Jonathan Ross. It's Emily Blunt. Wow. <laughs> OK. Well, let's see if any of you are right. Who's behind the mask? Take it off. Take it off. reveals we've ever had on the show. Amazing! Yeah. This is so good! Mo! 
If you said if it was with Alex Scott, you would just wear your pants. <laughs> Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! You've had so many people from this show on your couch. I know, I know. That's... Are you going to interview yourself the day after the show yes. is...? Yes, we'll get Alex Scott in the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get Mo Gilligan in his boxer shorts on your show. <laughs> Mo's got very quiet. <laughs> the song choice was Happy Talk, so that makes sense. Yeah. Because you've been on talk shows for, like, 35 years. Do you know what? This year, it's 40 years. Wow. wow. I know, this is a... Yeah. But I think I now get the bikini clue that goes on, because you presented the show in a bikini. Well, when you say that, <laughs> I wasn't... I mean, I did flash. <laughs> not as much as you're going to flash yeah. next week. Oh, Mo Gilligan! Get that pink bikini up, baby! Yes. Yeah. I know Mo's going to be furious about this, so we just do need to check. You haven't got Alex Scott down the front of the show. Yeah. <laughs> she is there. Yes. <laughs> Have you enjoyed being Owl? I've loved being Owl every single second. It's been joyful. The show is joyful. And you're the perfect person to be an Owl. <laughs> and somehow this outfit still works. <laughs> I've never actually sang in front of like oh. an audience, so it was amazing but to do were, that. And we I thought you were a pro singer. You're singing at times. Oh, behave! I mean, behave no. yourself. <laughs> You're coming out of this thinking, you know what? I should go on tour. <laughs> Honestly, you've been an absolute joy, Thank you. and what a reveal! Give it up for Lorraine, everybody. <laughs> so so good. That is all for tonight. We'll be back next week with more Mask Monkey Business. But now, performing one final time, Unmasked at Last, it's Lorraine! <laughs> You're amazing. You're amazing. Yeah. Happy talk, keep talking, happy talk. Talk about things you like to do. You've got to have a dream If you don't have a dream How you gonna have a dream come true? Talk about a coin Saying to a girl Golly, baby, I'm a lucky cuz Talk about a girl Saying to a boy and me is lucky to be ours. Happy talk, keep talking, happy talk. Talk about things you'd like to do. You've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how you gonna